they have left their country and uh, due to several reasons. It could be insecurity, it could be war, and so many more. People are often held captive to their own fears, forced into prisons of all kinds. They have witnessed the ashes of destruction. Grief becomes a common companion. Reality at Zalika Refugee Camp is that everyone is there because they have faced life-altering, awful circumstances. <laughs> Trauma affects the mind, the body, and the spirit. This leads to ripple repercussions of depression, despair, anger, and an inability to care for others in their families and communities. The invitation is to come and see the faces of the children of God who are on a transformational journey of experiencing God's healing. It always takes me back to the vision statement of SIR, that we long to see people flourish in their communities using languages they value most. It's one example that shows, that demonstrates flourishing. Trauma healing helps people engage scripture in powerful ways they didn't understand before. As people are transformed by God's word, and as they understand their suffering, they learn to forgive and take their pain to the cross. God is not only the God who heals. He is the God who is anointing his people. He is raising up believers in these desolate places to join him in this life-giving work of turning brokenness and ashes into crowns of beauty and pillars of strength. We need to forgive others, because even God has forgive us. After you forgive them, you start doing this, releasing those people. I forgive my parents, the way they abandoned me. I forgive them. Even I passed through a lot of things, I forgive them until we become free. <laughs> I just wanted to, to say thank you for all the people who decided to bring Tremiling to, to the people of Zaleka and fact to the people of Malawi. He brings his children out of trauma and into safe places. He invites his people to flourish, even in the most difficult of places. Life hearts, God helps. This is our story.